There we go. You probably have to say, yes, it's okay. I approve that the recording is in progress. Sorry for those of you who missed the rehearsal. I forgot to record the breathing. So there you go. Here's our pitch. Nice and forward in your face. Good breath. And from there, really get that um, th those uh, abdominal walls working. Here we go. And up. And up. And up. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and switching to feel. Good breath. Feel and up. Feel and up. Feel and up. Feel and up. Relax on the top. that you don't do this on the top note. Think down as you get that high up. Here we go, and. And up, and up, If it gets too high, drop out. We keep going for the soprano ones. And up, and that's the end of it for me. Okay, so take a seat. And let me just make Neely also co-host. Make co-host. Okay, so, all right. And I am going to pull up, let's see, chat. Bonnie, I'm so glad you had your power back. And so I am going to, here we go, share screen. Okay, so you should all be able to see this score. Back to the beginning, I was running through it uh, in preparation. And let me bring you guys over here to where I can see everybody. I don't know, it went away. There you are, <laughs> gotta love Zoom. 
Okay. So um, let's just, um, I'm not going to go over the chorus. So I suggest when uh, when we split into sectionals that the first thing we should do, you should do is look at the chorus. But we've already discussed that the rhythm, oh, and by the way, hi, Larissa, I was happy to see you join. Um, that the chorus has this most simple and straightforward uh, rhythm. And I noticed that uh, some of you who had missed some previous rehearsals, altos, um, were not getting those, uh, those nice little suspensions. So Rachel, you're gonna wanna spend a little bit of time on that. All right, so going back to the beginning, this is page one, verse one, okay? Veshuv nisheret levada hanaara. So we're going to say the rhythm. Ready? One, two, three. Veshuv. One and two. Nisheret levada hanaara. Hold. Two, three, four. Uh, Neely, I think we probably need a little a little comma between the sh and e. Eh. Didn't notice that before. I think this is the 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 most uh, recent uh, score. Um chaba balat et hamnora. Uh, why do you need control of my screen, Barb? You're muted, so still I muted. It, I, I think it came up and it, it hit, I hit the wrong thing. I was trying to okay. get the, the thing. I was trying to cancel it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, got, I, I, de I declined, so so it, it went okay. away. That's okay. I don't know. It came up, so I tried to decline it. Okay. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So no, no worry. So, and again, the girl is alone. Um chaba balat et ha menorah, and we know the word menorah from from the menorah, but in this case, it's a light. Vehiv huve pninim ksume orot, and the the glittering of the pearls like magic light. So speaking, one and two. Um chaba balat et ha menorah. Ah, ah, one and two. The heave who ve pninim ksume orod. One, two, three, four. One and two. Kavim echad echad al tavara. Okay, starting to feel the rhythm for this verse, starting to feel familiar. All right, going to run this whole verse without stopping. Here we go. Ignoring the two measures of intro, still counting in four, not two, two. One, two, three. The shuv. One and two. Nisheret levada hanaara. One and two. Um chababal atet hamnora. One and two, the heave who ve pninim ksume oro. One and two, kavim echad echad al tavara. Okay, so far so good. Can Chorus I, like, yeah. Can I just say one thing? Um, we we don't we really don't have to uh, hold it that long. I think it it, it might be, make more sense um, in measure five six seven eight if yeah. um, if we just hold it three beats instead of the four yeah. and um, in measure sixteen uh, coming off at um, just sort of a one and and coming off. Yeah. 
instead of holding it out the the, the full four it's yeah. it's just there's yeah no, it's if you if you'll do me yeah if you'll do yeah, me a I'll, favor i'll send you I'll, I'll i'll send you an update with that okay because i i don't have my written yeah. i should have my printed score here but i but i don't and obviously i can't edit in here it's it's just too much breath control for no good reason it, yeah yeah well and, and i'm a little short of breath anyway so so yeah it's it's um and also you have you know you have a nice little thing going on yeah. in the piano so yeah. so why not let it come to the I'll, four I'll, I'll send you i'll send you the updated with great with every Thank little you. little change and thing i made in piano stuff etc yeah okay. all right so we go to rehearsal c and this is the one about the flames of poppies that are wearing a black scarf and the mirror is dimmed okay Vishalhavot Pragim Baagartel. Yes, flames of poppies in the vase. And as I mentioned in rehearsal, uh, the real Hebrew word is agartal, but she has chosen agartel. Otot tsaif shachor hari afel. And Neely, if you could give some thought here too about these ending uh Ending, ending held notes so that the 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 part that has that the insert yep has has <laughs> I updated those according to the changes that we already made in rehearsal and again I will send you the full okay great or um where there were uh, okay places where you'd already adjusted note length yep and I've updated the the, the printed score great so Otot saif shachol. They the so the poppies the the flames of poppies are wearing a dark scarf because the room is darkening. Harei afel. The mirror is dim. Vehi shomaat el tugat chadra. She listens how into the dimness of her room. Al behonot raglav nichnas halel. The night comes in on tiptoe. I love the imagery of this verse. And whenever you have this aside, this echo, I think it needs to come forward. So it's not an echo that's softer than everybody, but it's a little spotlight on your section. Chadra, chadra. Uh, yeah, so even though it's written chadra, it's going to be chadra. It's the, the 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 convention of how to write it with the 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 consonant at the previous the previous um, syllable, okay. So I'm going to say all the interjections, but please, if it's your part, speak those interjections, okay. And you will see, having just done the first verse, that the rhythm here is is quite similar. What do you mean by interjections? Uh, where it's only one part. So see, we go Vishal Havot Pragim Baagartel, soprano one comments Baagartel. Otot Saif Shachor Hari Afel, and alto comments Hari Afel. Vihi Shomat El Tugat Hadra, and the soprano two's comment El Tugat Hadra. Right? So it's like repeating, I want you to pay attention. It's not so much an echo, echo, but listen to this beautiful turn of phrase. I want you to notice it. So a little more uh, soloistic for those sections, although don't get carried away. Here we go. So one and two. Vishal havot pragim ba'agartel ba'agartel otot tsaif shachor Har e a fell Har e a fell the he show el to God hadra el to God hadra al be ho no drag love nichnas halel. Okay, this verse feeling a little more familiar. 
right? We've, we've, we've really worked on, we've worked intensively on each verse. And my, my goal for today's rehearsal in person was to get to the point where we could at least fake our way all the way through and feel like, okay, we've got a sense of, of the whole piece. Okay, let's do this verse one more time. Yeah. Yes. In 45, you, the soprano to change the U's to note layout. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. And Neely, you've got that too, right? Yeah. And and we will, we will, um, Neely will send us an updated score. And if you want to print an updated score, you can do that, or you can go over it and, and make sure that you have all the markings. So let's do this uh, one more time, just so we're really, really comfortable. And so in sectionals, we don't really have to do any work on rhythm, I hope. So one and two, vishalhavot pragim ba'agartel. Ba'agartel oto tsa ifshahor har i afel har i afel vehishomat el tugat hadra el tugat hadra Al beho no traglav nichnas hallel. Okay, and really yeah. entrance. Yes. Just one thing. Um, it's uh, the, the the timing of vehishomaat um, from measure uh, for, forty one to forty two. I thought I fixed it. <laughs> to vehishomaat el to gatra. It's ma that's longer. Ma yeah, is it? Ma. Ve Ve hisho ma at el to gat had. Maybe me too. Yeah. Which, I know. Hare i a fehel. Ve hisho ma at el to gat had. And you have one of those in verse three also, where it's longer than, than we expect. And we'll look at that now. So in the sectionals, everybody, let's 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 fix that. Except for the Sprinter ones, we'll sing it my way. No. Um, so verse three is at rehearsal E. All right. And so this is chat measure 42. Okay, is the place where we need to look at it. Yes, Rachel? Yeah, that was an old comment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's like till I see that the thing is going. So here we have one and two. The he yodaat, right? So the he here is unexpected compared to the previous two verses. And of course, Neely did that because yodaat, so the accent will be on the da. Okay, so let's look at the text. Vehiyo daat, and she knows. Po haya echad. Someone was here, or literally, here was someone. Et tsaadav zocher od hamarvad. The carpet or the rug remembers his footsteps. And those of you who have a little bit of Hebrew, shatiach is carpet or or floor, you know, and Marvad is is more of like of a throw rug. So when when you talk about Aladdin and the magic carpet, it's Marvad HaKesim. Marvad is also has the uh, has an association of tapestry of something woven. So if you talk about the, somebody's life, Marvad Hayav, the tapestry of somebody's life. Hey, Tatiana, I just noticed that you joined us. Welcome. Okay, et shmo lochesh od cheresh hashaon. His name is whispered softly by the by the clock. Vehu halach he left. Vehu rachok laad he left and he's far away forever. Okay, so here we go. And sopranos, of course, you're ah 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 ahing, and we will work on that soprano ones in our sectional. So one and two. 
תהי יודעת, פה היה אחד. One and two, את צעדיו זוכר עוד המרבד. One, two, three, four, one and two, את שמו לוחש עוד חרש השעון. One, two, אה, 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 והוא הלך והוא רחוק לעד. אוקיי? Okay? So it's a little bit, it feels, to me, it feels different. Verses one and two feel more similar rhythmically than, than this one does. And I like nearly the isolation here of vehi yodat. Right, because it, this, is, this is a change from describing the room and describing the feelings of the room and suddenly it's, and she knows, she knows. So suddenly it's, it's kind of a, a, a turning point of, yeah, all those things that we're learning about the room, this is from, from her perspective, that this is her emotional input on these things. Okay, so one more time to hear that. One and two, vehi yodaat, po haya echad, two, one. Et sa'adav zocher od hamarvad, off, two, three, four. One and two, et shmo lochesh od cheresh hasha'on. One, two, three, four, one and two. Vehu halach, vehu rachok la'ad. And also the feeling of hu halach, right? After all the little syncopations, and he went. very final feeling that rhythm all right so I'm going to stop this right now and split us up into breakout rooms and we're going to do two rooms and I am going to assign manually and hopefully I get everybody in the right room so the first room is going to be Rachel's which is going to be the altos so Claudia I Bonnie, Jessica, Larissa, Rachel, Sherry. And then room two is going to be the soprano twos, which Carol, since uh, Neely is back, she can do that. And that's Aviva, Barb, uh, Tatiana, you may want to log out and come back. You're going to be in the room with me anyway, so it shouldn't affect anything. Carol, Jan. Lainey are with Neely. Okay, and we're going to open all rooms and um, work as long as you need to. If you're done before I bring you back, then I'll see you after Thanksgiving. Uh, Jan, you have to accept, uh, go, to, there you go. Okay, ladies, so welcome in. And Jan, you, were you not uh, invited to room two? Uh, let's see, room two. Yeah, you're, you did not accept the invitation to join room two. It should be up on your screen. All right, so I'm going to bring up the, the score again. Yeah, Jan, I, can't, I, can't, I have no control. You have, to, you have to click on the screen where you are. It will be on the iPad somewhere. It's, it's somewhere on the iPad, yeah. Okay, so we are going to start. And I think I would like, did you have a choice about which um, verse you want to start on, ladies, soprano ones? No. Okay. So um, let's start with verse 
three, uh, which is at rehearsal E. Because we, lo we looked at that a, lo a while ago. So, Page nine, 61. And so what I'd like us to do, oh, she figured it out. Good. The, the, the video was driving, <laughs> the video of her looking for, for how to find it was, was making me a little crazy. All right. So what I'd like us to do is start from verse three, go into the chorus, and then back up and do verse two and see if we can go verse two into the chorus into verse three and then back up and then I have the part recording and we can try to sing along with the part recording. Um, if there's anything that you need us to do again, please don't hesitate. Tatiana, I hope your, your connection is a little better now. I've, I've found that if the connection is bad, sometimes just logging out and getting back on uh, fixes it. All right. Here we go. Three, four, one What happened? I see puzzled looks. Yeah, we can't hear you when when you uh, you must have moved too far away from your mic. Ah, okay. I will I will shift. I'm I'm just playing the keyboard to keep myself honest. All right. So, one more time. Here we go. Uh, this is us. So. Three, four, one. So I think part of what helps for this, first of all, is to memorize it, since you don't have to look at it for the text. It's very important, and I feel myself tensing on the ah, singing now. So really to drop that jaw. And part of what helps the jaw stay relaxed is keeping your tongue low in your mouth. So if you remind yourself to keep the tip of your tongue on your lower teeth, then you're less likely to start doing this, you know, keep that low. So that's one is memorizing because we have, as we've mentioned that versus yeah, the three three times at the first time, I'm pointing and you can't see. Here we go. In measure 61, right? We versus sixty-two, three, four, one, two, three. Which is a little confusing. So I think that in general, um, in composing this, Neely set out to make it easy <laughs> and was not successful in making it easy. So that's one is, is memorizing. Two is really getting comfortable with where that D feels and where the E is, right? Because we come in on D, we come in on E. Come in on D, come in on E. So regardless of whatever happens below, 
if you can just get that a little bit in your throat, and I know it's easy to do it when we're not hearing what the rest of the choir is doing and that their rhythm is different and that their, their, their uh, melody is different. I get that and we'll practice it more, but if we can feel confident coming in. All right, so here we go. One more time. I'm gonna try to play the soprano two while singing the soprano one while turning pages. If you see smoke coming out of my ears, then I'm not so much succeeding. Three, four, one. <laughs> Sorry, that was wrong. Can't do it. Sorry, I didn't practice doing it, so I can't do it. I came in on the E. Here we go. Oh, three, four, one. Oh, relax everything. So I hope you could hear and feel because I really focused on keeping my jaw relaxed and I really suggest 69, 70, 71, take a breath before that last lift and take a breath before that last quarter note. So that's a, a, one idea, you do a lift there. Yes? Clear? Questions? Okay, so let's just review the chorus because I meant for us to go all the way through, but I don't want to sing that verse again. We'll, we'll go through it again. Here we go. Pick up to uh, 77. One, two, three. Or and so anybody who's really not comfortable on that E, just go down to the C sharp. And this, of course, I need to conduct. And I really can't tell that the amount of space that that's going to need is going to depend on how it feels when we get here. Okay, so backing up to verse two. Here we go at rehearsal C. All right, so we remember that the soprano two. Has the melody. And in case you forget where you're coming in, if you look at the downbeat in the piano, that top note in the piano right hand is your A, an octave lower, but that's your A. So. Here we go. One and two. One, two, three, four, 
one and two. May he show to God. One, two, three, four, one and two. Alpe uno traglav nichnas alev. Okay. And just a reminder in measure 41. Vehi, vehi sho, vehi sho. That D, that low D has to be really up in your upper register. Put it, put it between your eyes. Vehi sho. If you do ve, vehi sho, it's really hard to do the transition. Um, I saw my fair lady Tuesday night and Eliza, um, she had a beautiful operatic top register that she hit for the money notes and her transition between registers was just appalling. And it was like, it was painful. It was, it was, I mean, I won't get into my fair lady and whether or not it should be a revival and whether or not we really need something that makes jokes about if she doesn't behave, just give her a smack that gets laughs from the audience. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway. So what I'd like us to do now is run from here through the chorus and the, and the third verse. So we're gonna just keep going. All right, here we go. So here's the... Can you hear the piano? Could you hear that at all? When I played it, okay. Can you hear that? No. All right. Trust me then. One and two. That's wrong. So it's wrong. But I want to just um, point out, and I think I'm doing it with my voice. When you're singing the harmony, keep in mind that you're in the background and then come out front for Ba'agartel and then back off. All right, one more chance to get it right. One and two. One. That was my bad. And did we get uh, did we get measure fifty eight? Yes. Did not get it. Okay. Got it in rehearsal. 
I can't tell you, I, I, I begged Neely to change this. I said, it's so unpleasant to sing and it's so awkward and it feels so wrong. And she was very adamant. All right, um, so let's- I think when the, when the piano accompaniment, when we can hear that, uh, we, we can sing it. Okay. That's why it worked in rehearsal. No, we did it a cappella. Yeah, that time it didn't work, but when we had the accompaniment, it worked. All right, so let's let's because we need to be able to do it. So I behold Sounds like something out of Sondheim. We'll get back to it. Let's go to the beginning because I want to try to sing along. Uh, yes, Anne. Still muted. Okay, sorry. Um, measure 42, 41 and 42, could we do that rhythm yeah. again? Yeah, because um, I did it right. I did, I did do it right. I did it right now. One and two. Vehishoma at el tugatradra. Yeah. I don't One. think it's, I think you did et el, at el. And at a, el, yeah, because there's not a lot of time. One and two. Vehishoma ma at el. No, that's wrong. To Vehisho Ma at. Oh, it's on B2. It's on B2. One and two. Vehisho Ma at El to Gat Hadra. All right. One and two. Vehisho Ma at El to Gat Hadra. One more time. One and two. We show to Katra. It's interesting. It just occurred to me. The is again. It's it's spotlight on the on the girl. And like uh like the other, where she makes a space. The hiodat. The Vehiyodat, and she on both. So in measure uh, sixty-one, and just like in measure forty-two, right? When we talk about the girl, and she hears, and she knows, Neely has a little rest there, that kind of sets this sets this statement apart. Can we put this whole verse together to make sure that the director doesn't sing it wrong at the next rehearsal? And we'll go through the we'll go through through the chorus as well so that we can get one and two. This shall have a in Bagarte. I got a little flat, but you got it that time? All right, to the beginning. 
What I'd like to do is go over the first verse and then sing the whole thing through, see if there's any spots that we need to tweak. And then I have the part recording, which only doesn't have the text, but it has the piano part. And so we'll see if we can sing along with the part recording and uh, the piano and do that at least once. And re just reminding you that that part piano, p that part recording is on the, the website and you can, you can download it. Veshu, one, two, three. Veshu. Nishere Nevada Nara One, two, three, off One and two Um, Chabba Balatet Ham Nora One and two Behive Uvet Nini Sorry, one, one and two. Behiv uvep ninim ksume orot. Off, two, one and two. Kavim echad echad al tzavara. One, two, three. Veshu, veshu. Veshuv, 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 Veshuv. Kavim echad echad al tzavara. Questions, any issues with this first verse? I think we're I think we're pretty solid on this. Yes? Yes? No? Yes? All right. So let's run through the whole thing. I'm going to play the melody on my keyboard on my piano because I'm getting my voices. Can you hear it in this octave? So I'm going to play it down down the octave just so you can so you can hear it. Here we go. Playing with one hand, singing with one voice, and scrolling with the other. One, two, Veshuv. One and two. Nisheret levada na'ara. Two, off, two, one and two. Um, chapa baratet hamnora. One and two, the heave who fed me, me, so me or one and Kavi Mechad Echad Al Tzavara. One, two, three, the shoe, the shoe, the The 
How are we feeling? Mimi, Leslie, how are we feeling? Okay, all right. Start, it's starting to make more sense, I think. All right, so I'm going back to the beginning and I haven't practiced this, so it's on all of us. Um, and I don't remember if, I think the tempo, I think we're pretty close to the tempo, I have to say, that I'm tending to think that the chorus is more legato and the verse is more marked and kind of that conflicting, you know, uh, the feeling that a dark, quiet room should be calm, but yet in this situation, it's, it's fraught, you know, there's this, this underlying energy. Okay, so here we go. Can you hear that? Okay, just wanted to be sure. Here we go. Ooh. No, that's not what I wanted. I'll go back. The shoe. Here we go. Oh. 
So how'd we do? Pretty good, I think. Yeah, Leslie? You're muted. We can all unmute. Okay, here we go. I thought I could unmute you all. Uh, I can't. Okay. Anyway, so is there anything else that you would like to go over on this piece right now? It's are getting we, better. It's getting better. Do you want to run it again with me, or are we good to good to finish for today? I'm I'm about out of ease. Finish. It's hard work. It's hard work. It's hard work, but I think that once you get it into your, you know. And and our tempo was was that was that's her tempo. Um, I may want it a little bit faster, just for the the rhythm. But I mean, I think that that if you go over it every couple of days with that recording, um, I think I think it's it's doable. It it'll be tricky to put that. Of course, it, of course, it doesn't have the other parts. So if you really want to challenge yourself, put on the soprano two recording. <laughs> yeah and sing the soprano one okay so i'm going to go check the other rooms i'm not going to end the meeting for everybody so if if you're it's because i don't know what they're doing so i'm going to go visit them actually i can probably see yeah they're they're still working so i'm going to pop in and